Leonardo AI has just unveiled Phoenix, its cutting-edge foundational model that's generating significant buzz in the AI community. Phoenix boasts extreme adherence to prompts and text rendering capabilities. In this video, I'm going to test just how adherent Phoenix is to prompts and how well it can render text. Let's get started. To get started with Phoenix, navigate to the presets and select the Phoenix model. This will unlock a new feature called Prompt Enhance, which I'll leave set to auto to allow Leonardo's AI to potentially enhance my prompts. I'll stick with the dynamic preset style and enable fast generation to save credits. Let's generate two images. As a paid account holder, I can keep my generations private. Note that the photo reel and transparency settings, as well as the image guidance tools, are not currently available with this model. I asked ChatGPT to generate prompts specifically designed to test Phoenix adherence, and now I'll put them to the test. I'll copy and paste one of the prompts into the prompt box. Let's see if the generated image meets all my requirements. Here's the result. And I asked it to generate an image of a dense forest in the middle of autumn. Check. The forest should have trees with leaves in shades of red, orange, and yellow. A clear stream should run through the middle, with smooth pebbles visible under the water. In the background, include a small wooden bridge and a few deer drinking from the stream. The sky should be clear with a setting sun casting golden light through the trees. Check. As shown, the image perfectly matches my prompt. Now, let's try some additional prompts. For this one, I will change the preset style to cinematic. Create an image of a narrow cyberpunk alleyway at night. Check. The alley should be filled with neon signs, graffiti, and steam rising from manhole covers. Include a few shady characters in futuristic clothing, a street vendor selling exotic cybernetic implants, and a small robot cleaning the alley. The building should have a gritty industrial look with exposed pipes and cables. Check. This image is of an enchanted library with tall, ornate bookshelves filled with ancient books and scrolls. Include floating candles for lighting, a large wooden table with an open book emitting a soft glow, and a cat perched on one of the shelves. The library should have large stained glass windows depicting magical creatures. In the background, include a spiral staircase leading to a hidden section of the library. The results are promising so far, but I'm eager to see how well it follows spatial instructions. So I'll ask it to generate an image of a modern kitchen with a central island. The kitchen should have a refrigerator on the far left, a stove with an overhead range hood on the far right, and a sink with a window above it in the middle. The central island should have bar stools on the near side and a vase with fresh flowers on top. Include cabinets and countertops on both sides of the kitchen. Next, I'll put this feature to the ultimate test with a more challenging prompt. A woman in her late 20s, embodying a bohemian style. She has long, flowing chestnut hair with a few small braids interwoven with colorful beads and feathers in shades of turquoise, red, and gold. She wears a loose, patterned maxi dress with a base color of deep purple and intricate paisley designs in teal, orange, and gold. Over her dress, she has a beige fringe shawl with embroidered floral patterns in pastel colors. Around her neck are multiple strands of necklaces, including a turquoise pendant, a silver chain with a moon charm and a beaded choker. Her wrists are adorned with a mix of bangles in silver and wood, along with a few fabric wrap bracelets. She is barefoot with henna designs on her feet. She stands in a sunlit art studio filled with large canvases displaying abstract art, an easel with a painting in progress, and various potted plants. Her expression is thoughtful and serene with large hazel eyes and a gentle smile. The studio is bathed in warm, natural light filtering through large windows. I'm thoroughly impressed by Phoenix's prompt adherence, but now it's time to evaluate its text rendering capabilities. 
I'll ask ChatGPT to generate some prompts for our next experiment. Let's create a motivational poster and adjust the image dimensions. The first image is a great success, accurately rendering the text, although the author's credit text underneath the quote is a minor error that can be easily edited out. However, the second image falls short of expectations, missing the mark entirely. Moving on, I'll challenge it to create a book cover design. While both images are impressive, the first one has a minor error, an extra text element with a misspelling. However, the second image is flawless, accurately rendering the title in bold golden serif font as requested, although the author's name lacks italicization. I was able to successfully create a variety of designs, including posters, advertisements, logos, and wedding invitations. Although text rendering wasn't perfect every time, I consistently achieved accurate results within two or three generations. Another helpful feature that's been introduced is the Edit with AI tool, which allows you to modify images using Leonardo's capabilities. With this tool, all you have to do is enter the changes you want to make, and the AI will implement them. For example, I like this image, but I want to change the background to outer space. But please note, it will cost credits to use this feature. Leonardo successfully changed the background, but the text rendering didn't turn out as well. Upon reviewing the prompt, I noticed that it had been altered. I copied the prompt, removed the font specifications, and regenerated the image. With these adjustments, the new image perfectly matched my vision. These images are truly remarkable, showcasing exceptional prompt adherence and text rendering capabilities. Leonardo's consistent delivery of innovative tools solidifies its position as one of the top AI image generators. This impressive model unlocks a world of creative possibilities, even enabling the creation of eye-catching YouTube thumbnails like the one I designed for this video. So, have you tried this new model? Share your thoughts and feedback in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching.